Hello, my beautiful online people. Welcome to my online class today. Um, today, I will be doing something quick. My DM got filled up with people requesting I tell them how to um, remove negative value from their um, survey um, profiles, from their survey line, the best way a miner should do it so that information should not be lost. Before I start, let me quickly say congratulations to my subscribers, I am I'm almost having a 1,000 subscribers, which is a big one. Uh, 1,000 of you in a room is a very plenty number, and uh, I can actually start an online investing with you guys. <laughs> uh, but it's okay, let me quickly start the tutorial. Um, thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you have not subscribed, you can do so now and start requesting for videos. And if I'm less busy, I can as well drop a video for you, a nice video that will help your career, that can help you in your academics and in your workplace as well. So let's quickly dive right into what I have for you guys today and my new channel. So this is my system and uh, let me quickly delete this rubbish. So here we are, we have this profile line I will be using for this tutorial. As you can see, I have some negative values here. Um, here, I have negative values here. Um, see, I'm here. I walked into some people doing interpretation. I decided to just watch what they were doing. And I noticed they were highlighting the areas that have negative values and just deleting it like like this and delete. Uh, uh, are you serious? Is that what you are taught in school? Is that what they taught you in school? By deleting. Yeah, it's all right. Maybe that's a new pattern. I don't know. But anyhow, let me tell you how I do it as a consultant and um, a professional in my field as well. So, so these are data. Let's quickly launch our rest to the inversion. So rest to the inversion is a common one. Everybody can have it. So it's what we'll be using for this tutorial. It's something everybody have so so that you can also share to that that is that you know that is using this software. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? <laughs> okay, so here we are. Our software is up and running. So um without any plenty talk, let me put in with our data. Our data read successfully without an error. So without any setting, let me just run the inversion because we are going somewhere and I want to be fast about this tutorial. So our data, our, our inversion is processing. Our data is processing actually. The computer is doing it. so. At this point, we don't have any business. So if you have not subscribed to this channel, at this point, you can just subscribe me. You know what I mean? Subscribe. Subscribe now. Um, as well, you are welcome to my workstation. My workstation. This is my workstation. So here we are. So we are done with the version and He's asking if we should do more iteration. I don't think at this point we're interested in doing more iteration because we are doing so way. So do you want to do more iteration? I said, no, thank you. We don't. So here we are. And when you look closely, you see that your IP values, your chargeability values have negative values as far as big as 807. Whoa, that is actually big. It's big and, and very big as well. So now let's go to the tutorial. The next thing you want to do is to go to your um, display your version result. But that's where you do the calculations. So let's read our results. Let's read our, let's show our results uh, rather. Let, so let's show our results. So let me quickly choose that I'm displaying the two. And let me add topography to it because the data set comes with the topography. So so add uh, results. Let's leave everything at the default. At default, this is what we have. Okay, so let me um, reduce the, the scaling. 
so that we see our our the vertical display let's reduce the scale to about 40. so let's display our result again let's see with it let's leave everything at the front so here we are we have our ip your chargeability, your chargeability values having high negative values very high negative values so at this point we are not interested in negative values so from this point error is, is okay for resistivity which is less than five um reduce the rms value the proper way is a, a video request i got in one of my video comments but it's something i'll do after i have my 1000 subscribers so um for now let's just continue what we are doing so 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 um to filter away the data we don't need those we don't need the information that are containing negative values in our ip sessions so what you do is to go back i want to display your results again so if you want to display your result again including the two and they tell you okay now should you display it with this log quantum interval you tell them no 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 i want to define the places i want to see so you click on this one use that to define logarithmic quantum interval and click your okay um that's for restivity we don't have anything to fit away from restivity so you can just leave it at okay they will ask you about the ip the ip you click on this and um, user define linear quantum intervals user define linear quantum intervals you click on it and say okay you want to define it now you see these areas that have negative ip no i don't want it to be so i want to display from one then um the enter the contour spacing values that you want it um i like using small contour values and all these contour values have meaning it, it will affect your data so you have to know what you are doing i cannot be explaining i cannot be explaining how to know the proper contour spacing to use but for now for the purpose of this tutorial i'll just keep a five on it or a three let's just keep a four now i'm doing this because I, I i want to tell you that you can actually put any values that that, that is in your head but they will definitely affect your data so you have to know what you are doing now let's keep it at at four and click and click ok so you, you see you have your values reading from one to 57 reading from one to 57 now let me show you why I told you that this thing will affect your data. Let's go back and do this sheets again. So let's display our contour values. Let's, let's include our topography. For the receivity value, we don't have, we don't, we don't want to do anything, but for our IP, let's quickly just do this thing. So I say, let's display for one. And this other place, let's put a big value as big as 50 and see the difference. You can see at this point you don't have any any high high values and your values is now reading from one to seven hundred so you see <laughs> let's let's end this tutorial here thank you very much so if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel do that now and god bless you but yes you can continue oh.